Okay, Cody, you're the one that posted this uh, method on uh, line here showing us how to remove a broken off stud. So we're going to find out if it really worked. Uh, what I did was I, I went and braced this thing up with a couple of bolts, made sure that everything was vertical and, and uh, the holes were straight up and down. Then I went ahead and uh, drilled out that hole over here, uh, or that stud, I drilled it out, and it was broken off flush too. I mean, there was nothing. Uh, I mean, it was right down to the surface, so I didn't have anything that I could grab a hold of and, and back it out with a pair of pliers or whatever. So I went ahead and drilled the stud, uh, drilled it all the way down, uh, then went back in and I went and drilled it just a little bit further out, about halfway down, filled it full of uh, uh, weld when I, you know, I welded it up and filled it full of weld. And the reason I did that is when I drilled it out, I wanted it to hopefully loosen its grip on the threads and uh, you know, take some of the pressure off and hopefully by w filling it full of molten uh, steel when it cooled off I was you know because most welds will draw themselves together when you weld it and so I was hoping that by filling it full of molten steel when it cooled that it would uh, draw itself even closer you know, or uh, you know loosen the threads even in, even further uh, once I had that filled full of uh, molten steel then I went ahead and uh, welded a uh, washer in place and then on top of that I uh, welded a nut on there. Now we're going to give it the, the uh, test here. Use the old uh, MIG welder here to, to uh, tack it in place. We're going to put that back over there. This is uh, the one that I picked up over at Harbor Freight. Love that little rascal. But uh, now it's the, uh, the time of the test here. We'll find out if this actually worked or not. God, I, I just hope it doesn't break. Oh, look at that. I'll be damned. Kid, if you were here, I'd kiss you right now. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down because it's starting to get snug. I need both hands to do this. But hey, thanks a lot, man. This thing actually worked. I didn't think it would. I, th I was for sure I was going to weld that darn stud right into the, the head and never have it removed again, but uh, I thought I'd have to drill it out and uh, retap it and maybe even put a helicoil in it, but this, uh, this method works. Uh, keep that in mind. Talk to you later, and thanks.